close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Notice where you feel it, notice where it's most prominent. And let your attention settle there. We look at the breath so that we can see the mind. And so the first principle is you've got to get things to settle down, be still in the present moment. Because if you're going to watch your mind, you have to be able to step back from it a bit. We live in our thoughts. But it's good to learn how to see how our thoughts from the outside. So you stay with the breath. That's your anchor in the present moment, so that if a thought comes up and is pointing you someplace else, you don't let yourself be swayed by the, the finger that's pointing someplace else. You look at the finger. Why is this finger pointing in that direction? What does it want? Where is it coming from? That's when you begin to understand your own mind, these pointers in the mind, these signs in the mind. Who does the signs? Don't believe all the signs. You look at the process in which the mind makes signs that give messages to itself. And you learn that you're fooling yourself a lot of the time. And this is one of the purpose of the meditation, is that the mind doesn't fool itself anymore. So learn how to step back from your thoughts. Whatever comes up in the mind that's not related to the breath right now, just let it go, let it go. You want to understand the workings of the mind, and not just the finished products. So you want to stay right here. At the same time, you get a sense of ease. A lot, this is one of the reasons why a lot of people come to meditation to begin with, because there is that sense of ease that comes when the mind can finally settle down and doesn't have to be keep jumping. As soon as a sign that says, go, 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 and okay, you can look at the signs but not go. Like the difference they say, if you throw a ball for a dog, the dog will immediately be running after the ball. If it's a lion, you throw a ball for the lion to catch, the lion will turn around and look at you. So you want to be the lion here, just looking at the thoughts. Where are they coming from? Where are they going? Why do you think I'm going to be fooled by that thought? That's the, the look of the lion. So try to maintain that kind of gaze, where you're at your ease, but not just here to rest, but you're also here to see through your own mind. That's when the meditation really does begin to make changes inside. You can get the mind still for long periods of time, and if you don't use it to observe things, then it's just a place to rest. Then you go back to your old ways, which may be good or may be bad, depending on what those ways are. But if you actually use the meditation to look at what's going on in the mind, that's when you begin to change your ways. And it's in changing your ways that your life gets changed. So learn how to settle here and be observant at the same time. It's that combination that makes a difference.